What's going on my beautiful people? Fernando David here and on this video I want to give you some marketing strategies that's going to help you stand out in this ever competitive short-term rental industry. If you want to grow, right, if you want to attract more guests and, and fill your calendar up, then you really need to focus on marketing. Today we're going to talk about digital marketing because I think, I think for the majority of you, this is where you're going to get more bang for your buck. Most of the stuff that I'm going to talk about is free. It's not going to cost you anything. It's just going to cost you some elbow grease or some time because you're going to have to dedicate some time to this. But before I get into that, one thing that you need to understand is the following. I don't know where you are in your business, but if you're starting out or you're stuck and you're not growing, I highly recommend that you think about hiring a company like us because everything I'm going to talk about, we do, right? We have the systems and processes in place. We have the infrastructure, right? We have the knowledge and experience that will allow you to continue to operate while learning and growing at the same time. It's very difficult to grow while you're learning and it's very difficult to grow if you're spending a lot of time working in your business, right? Instead of on your business, if you're spending a lot of time working in it, very difficult for you to focus on growth. And this is why I highly recommend that those of you that are stuck or those of you that are st starting out, don't learn by trial and error. Again, you don't have to hire us, but hire a company that is experienced, that has the infrastructure, and that you can learn from so that you can grow as quickly as possible. And everything I'm gonna talk about is stuff that we do and we did to help us grow and get to where we are today, right? The first thing you need to understand is that you need to establish and create a brand. Branding is critical in today's day and age. And the reason why having a solid brand is important is because people will remember you. If you somebody comes in your property and they like your they like what you offered, if you don't have a brand, three, four months down the road, they're gonna forget you. And if they don't write it down and rem remember where they found you, it's gonna be hard for them to return. But if you have a brand, they're gonna remember that. And it's gonna be much easier for, for them to come back to you, especially if you have multiple properties, right? They can just Google your name and they'll find you. So establishing a brand is very important. So spend some time and figure out who you are, who you wanna be, and then create a brand around that. So now, once you have your brand, the next thing you really need to do is start working on your website. You need to create a website for your property that, that'll help you with your branding and that website will help you market your properties and more importantly will allow you to get direct bookings. I can't say this enough, I've said it a million times, you need to focus on direct bookings and do not rely on OTAs. OTAs are awesome, they, they're great, they're gonna bring in customers, but at the end of the day, you don't wanna rely, especially you don't wanna rely on just one or two OTAs, because then your business is in jeopardy and is highly dependent on that OTA. Don't do that, right? So create your brand, then create your website. Now, once you have your brand, and once you have your website where you can get direct bookings, now we wanna focus and start targeting these potential travelers and our guests, right? The first place that I recommend you advertise on or start building your brand on is going to be on Facebook. Facebook is a great platform for short-term rentals because the majority of people that use short-term rentals are can be found on Facebook. There's gonna be a second one that we're gonna talk about in a second, but Facebook being one of them. So what you wanna do is create a business page on Facebook and then you want to start joining all these travel groups, especially travel groups that are in your market. Don't just focus on your market though, because there's gonna be people that, that haven't been to your market, uh, but you can entice them by providing value to them in these groups, and they may reconsider or may consider coming to your market. But join all these travel groups Go in there, don't spam them though. I'm a firm believer that you should date people first, right? Get to know them, uh, uh, get them to trust and know you before you try to get them in bed. Consider it this way, right? 
You wouldn't walk up to a, someone at a bar or a nightclub and immediately go up to them, introduce yourself and say, hey, let's go to bed. Nope. So don't do that on social media, right? You know, go on there, introduce yourself, get to know them, get them, get, create some rapport, some trust, uh, give them something of value before you try to get them to come uh, to state your property. The next one, which I'm a big fan of, is Instagram. There's right now, Instagram is great, especially for Gen Z, Zers, right? Um, but the reason I like Instagram a lot is because with Instagram, you can do multiple things, right? You can use a once, for example, if you have one property, there's a lot you can do on Instagram with just that one property. First, you can go ahead and take photos of your property, obviously, and post that so people can see the property. You can create stories there. You can do Instagram reels on your properties. Um, you can also do IGTV, although that's not as popular anymore. Uh, but you can use Instagram so that people can have a visual, a, a virtual tour or a virtual idea of what your property is all about. Great tool. In addition, you can use Instagram to get your guests to help you grow in your brand and attract more customers. One way I like to do that is to find a, a area within your property and use it, uh, uh, create something that'll cause a guest to take pictures in front of. Like for example, one of our properties, we have a wall, uh, which is a picture of the Deerfield Beach Pier. It's a great photo, uh, uh, photo area for people to take selfies at or have their, their friends or family members to take a picture in front of that wall. Create something like that so that your guests, and encourage your guests to do so, right? Uh, so they can uh, take a picture there and have them tag you, right? That'll help you grow not only your social, your social media presence, but it'll help you attract more eyes to your property. Because the idea is to attract more eyes, and, and which in terms will probably get you uh, uh, in front of more people so that you can get guests coming to your property. The next one is going to be YouTube. Now, YouTube is a searchable item, but I like to use YouTube more towards education. Uh, one of the things that we use YouTube for is to create virtual tours of our property. And we use YouTube to teach people how to use certain things within our property. So for example, how to use the hot tub, how to use, uh, how to operate the lights on the outside of the property, how, um, how to use the dishwasher, the, wash, the washing machine, the dryer. Um, we use YouTube for that. Uh, but a great way to use YouTube is mainly to attract people to your area. So for example, use it like a travel channel so that people could get to know your market. You know, show them where the, where the best coffee shop is, show them where the best bike shop is, show them where the best restaurant is. Do videos about that so that people people that are considering coming to your area, so they have a very good understanding of what to look for when they get there. It's a great tool to promote your city, your, your, your market, and your property. The last thing I wanna talk about is, and this is a little bit more advanced, but a great way to market and increase your brand awareness is to team up with other influencers. One, way you can do that is to offer an influencer to come stay at your property. Tell them you'll give them a free stay in return for them to, or in exchange for them to come and do a video of your property so they can promote it on their channel. That will help you greatly in creating better brand awareness, more followers, and attract more people to your properties. Again, this is just a quick overview, and I hope this information was useful. If it was, please, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Follow us on Instagram. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.